Hey guys, Mediocre C8 here today, and um, I'm actually not in the game, I'm going to be talking about things outside of the game. And basically I'm going to be helping you improve your gameplay, reduce lag, and help you maybe choose out new computer specs, from what I know. I'm not an expert in this, but I know enough, because I've been through a lot to get the computer I have right now, done a lot of research. So you've probably seen a lot of videos out there um, talking about how you can reduce your lag by, you know, cleaning your computer, setting the graphics lower, but you know... If you tried all of that and your uh, combat arm still runs really low, it's time to get to down to the point you need new computer specs. Um, you're going to want to improve your PC, and so I'm going to help you do that. Um, first of all, uh, if you don't know right now how to get to your computer specs, here's just how you go to Start Computer and right-click and press Properties. That's about it. This shows you pretty much there's ma three main points to running a game you want to have a good processor speed, enough RAM, and a good video card. Um, so as you see right here, I have a processor, I have a dual core, 3.0 gigahertz. I have 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now to see your video card, you're going to want to go here. And I have a Windows 7, so you have search programs and files, but if you don't, you're going to want to find something down here that says run, and then you click that and you type in dxdiag, and you press enter. And something's going to pop up right here. DirectX Diagnostics Tool, and you click over to Display, and it shows your video card. Now, I have an NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT, and it runs my combat arms fine. I think it is around the price of $120 or so, but I'll be talking about buying computer parts later. Anyways, another really, really useful tool that also shows you your specs, but not only that, it gives you kind of a view of what you need to improve or what you're really good at for your computer specs. So you're going to want to go to can, oops, canyourunit.com. Oops, I typed can you ran it, that's failed grammar. Can you run it dot com. So you're gonna to go to the site, and I guess in this case, there's plenty of games, but you're gonna type Comet Arms, because that's what you need to figure out. And it basically analyzes your uh, computer specs and it compares it comparing uh, compares it to what the game requires to run either as required or to run really, really fast. And so as you see it's loading. Right now it's a question mark actually. Um, not because my specs are bad, because it doesn't know if Windows 7 actually works with uh, Comet Arms, but it does, and everything else passes fine, as you can see right here. It tells us, like how much disk space you need, the sound card, graphics card, um, RAM, CPU speed, and this is minimum, but then there's recommended. I pass for everything. My computer's pretty damn good. Um, gonna be honest, and I didn't really spend that much on it, but it depends on your budget, you know, if you can't really spend that much. But that's um, basically, yeah. I'm gonna now like kind of give you an insight on how to buy a good computer without spending too much. Now, if you're kind of uh, a starter, uh, you probably want to go to like Fry's or Best Buy. I usually go to Fry's if there's one near you. If you know what Fry's is, so they have PCs and the main concept of building a decent gaming computer without spending too much, like just good enough to run without, you know, choppy graphics, is you buy a pre-built computer with decent uh, CPU speed and RAM. So that'd be like 2.5 uh, gigahertz dual core is fine for gaming. Uh, it's actually probably really good. And then around 4 gigabytes of RAM are fine. Basically my computer specs are what you'd get for like an average gamer who doesn't spend too much. I spent about 400 on my PC. It was on sale. And then, um, what you're going to want to do is buy a new video card. Because most PCs, unless you look at the specs and you find it has an, a great integrated card, usually they come with a crap integrated card. And that's what really sets back uh, gamers really far behind. So what you're going to want to do is buy a new video card. A range from like $100 to $200 is going to work really, really well for a game like Combat Arms. If you want like something extremely nice, um, $200 is going to be... It's, it's like fine. Um, if you're an extreme gamer, you probably spend like 500 but um, around 120 is the thing I bought. What you want to do is like do some research to find what's great for your uh, price range. The two companies that you're going to be looking for in video cards that are like the most popular and best are in NVIDIA, if you haven't heard of it already. Take note of this, NVIDIA, they make great cards. 
um, like the 8800 GT or 9800 GT, things like that are like fine for gaming and not too expensive. Um, and then Radon. Radon makes really good gaming graphics cards too. I think one of the staple ones now is the Radon 7, I mean 4 something, 4 something, but you're going to have to do research on that, like 4 750 or something. Um, yeah, this card is really, really great and it's it's pretty much one of the best uh, bang for your buck, I guess. But I'm not exactly an expert in this, you can't trust me for sure. But that's about it, so you're going to want to look at your CPU processor speed. Uh, you really only need dual core, by the way, don't even like fret over quad core. Because the only thing that's useful for is, you know, if you're editing lots of videos that take lots of multimedia. Because most, most of the time your computer isn't even using all cores. So that's that for the CPU speed. And then as for RAM, uh, that's random access memory. It's basically what um, your computer stores random memory on when you're playing a game. Usually about 4 gigabytes is fine. If you want, you can ramp it up to 6 or 8 and your game will run even smoother. Um, but around 4 is fine. You can also add RAM if you don't really know how. Basically, do a lot of research. Really, like, go online and just look up on those three topics. I'm um, talking CPU, speed, RAM, and video cards. Video cards are pretty, pretty important because it's what runs. Um, it's it's linked to your monitor. Your video card is linked to your monitor. So what you see is basically processed by your video card. And so the nicer your video card is, the smoother your game will run. Along with all the other attributes I talked about. But video card, RAM, and CPU processor speed, those are pretty much the main things you are going to look for in a computer. So if you want a computer like mine, if you've seen my videos, they run quite well. Wrapping isn't that bad. Um, I only spent probably 550 in total, maybe 600 after tax and stuff, and that that's not too bad. Uh, a lot of people spend thousands on a gaming computer, and Macs are like a thousand two hundred, so or a thousand two thousand, kind of like that. So you know, if you want to like have a better computer for gaming, just do your research. Um, but I kind of went over some of the main things you want to know when you're looking for a new computer, and. Yeah, that's about it. Remember the site, CanYouRunIt.com. It'll help you a lot. And uh, right now, I'm just going to show you some really cool uh, tips and tricks with Combat Arms, because I still have some time for recording. Somebody requested me to show them how you get this direct shortcut to your desktop. And this shortcut, basically, it doesn't prompt you to the website, because that's annoying as crap. And you can pretty much always log in with a... Uh, with the login screen. You don't have to log in via Nexon's website. I'm just going to delete, delete it right now so I can show you how to get to it. What you want uh, going to want to do is go to your computer or basically wherever your uh, Combat Arms directory is located. In my case it's in C, Nexon, Combat Arms, and here it is. The file is actually right here, Combat Arms underscore direct. What you want to do is right click it, send to desktop as a shortcut and that's just going to send it to your uh, desktop and when you double click it there's combat arms for you, you can start the game and everything it's really really nice, it's the old one um, that they don't do anymore, I don't know why they would have you log in from the website which is retarded and another thing that is really really useful if you hate the ending banner, all you have to do is go here delete it and it'll never show again, until the next patch just delete it again, it's fine um, remember that, that's also really useful and I think that's about it in terms of uh, uh, boosting your combat arms, you know, helping yourself out with it. Um, also some things, I don't know if it's true, but having your desktop clean, like mine is pretty decently clean, don't have too many uh, things scattered around. It's best to keep it as little files on the desktop as possible, that'll help it run faster. Um, what else? Also, yeah, keeping other programs closed while you're running combat arms does help a lot as well. Um, you can look up sites, I think there's this one program called Game Booster. I forget if it's free or not, but that was a very, very, very useful um, game booster, I think. Yeah, this is a great program. Yeah, it's free. So you should probably download this too and run it pretty much before you run Combat Arms if you um, want to close the program. It basically closes everything for you, stops the unnecessary services, and after you're done gaming, just switch it back to PC mode. It's pretty cool. Um, you can try that out. And yeah, that's about it. I guess I hope I helped you with um, maybe if you're building a new computer or just want tips on how to run Comet Arms and have a better experience with it. That's it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll be reviewing a gun soon. 
actually someone is going to be killing themselves for me so I can do the DSR1 tactical. That is next. So comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Okay.